Keep watching if you struggle with radio telephony calls. Hi guys, I'm Tarek Merriface and welcome to this short video. Today we're going to look at the basic structure of radio telephony calls. This video does not contain any specifics and is not intended to teach standard phraseology. The idea of this video is to better understand the structure of the messages which are transmitted by pilots. There are three general identifiable structures to an RT call made by a pilot. The first is the initial call. It's best to split this up into the six W's. Who, who, what, where, what, what. Initial calls are just that, the first call made to air traffic control. Now, ideally, especially on a busy day, it's best to prelude this call with a simply who, who. That is to say, first who you're calling and then who you are. This gives the controller an opportunity to make the pilot wait in case they're busy at the moment. Once given the go ahead, the pilot can then delve into the six W's. Who the person you're talking to is, i.e. the controller, who you are, that is to say the call sign of the aircraft, what you are, what type of aircraft you are in, where you are, that is to say where your current position is, on the ground, this may be a holding point or a parking area. In the air, it could be a waypoint or a visual reporting point. You would also include altitude if this call happens to be in the air. What information you have and or what you're doing. Have you listened to the ATIS? What are you currently doing? and then what you want. Tell them the intentions you have or in some cases request permission for it. Every subsequent message after this initial call falls under the other two structures. The first we would look at is the response. This could be the pilot answering a question or doing a readback. That is to say repeating information the controller is given in order to make sure that the pilot has the correct information. The structure is simple, RW, readback or response, and who you are. For example, the controller could give the pilot a new q &H. Golf Charlie Delta, new q and 1028. New q &H 1028, Golf Charlie Delta. The last structure is when the pilot engages with the controller he or she is already in contact with. The pilot could be given a position report or a query. In this case, we follow WWM, who you're calling, who you are, and the message to pass. For example, the pilot could see a potential hazard close to the runway and decide to report it to the controller. Mary Tower, Golf Charlie Delta, bird activity south of the field. Just like with the initial call, there might be times where it's appropriate to engage the controller with an initial who who, just to make sure they're not too busy to respond to you at that moment. Well, this concludes the three different types of structures you'll find in air traffic control calls. This might seem basic, but a lot of private pilots do forget about this and they get very nervous when talking on the radio. If you understand that these are the three structures, then it becomes a lot easier to prepare a radio call. If you like this video and you found it informative, please make sure to share, comment and subscribe. It really helps me and I love to hear from you guys and engage in conversation, so please make sure to comment. But that's it for this video guys, I'm Tarek Maryface, I'll see you guys next time and happy flying.